Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Jesse and this is Scrubsville. No, this isn't Jesse. This is uh 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 your mayor, JF Scrub status. Get it straight. I don't know who you think you are. But anyways, so oh my gosh, it's actually been quite a while since I've played it in this uh game. I've been so overwhelmed with um The Walking Dead. Not overwhelmed, I'm loving every single second of that game. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um make sure you go back to the very first episode because they uh they're intertwined. But yeah, so since the last time I played this, we um, we got our ore mine up and running and we got a trade depot, which is closed because we just put it down our last episode and then we dipped out like there was nobody's job. So um, we're going to, ooh, that was weird. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, Cheetah Speed. We're making some money. Actually, we're doing pretty good. We got a uh, $1,688 per hour. We're rolling in, and what does this guy have to say? What you got? Orco? Orco? Oh, look at this guy. He's like an Australian. Uh, we can increase our raw ore extract, uh, or extraction or delivery rates if we edit our ore mines. Take a look. Alright, what do you got over here? What? I don't see any. Oh, down here. Oh! Is this gonna make our production better? If we have an ore mining sign? Can we put that on top of something? Oh shit. What do we got? Anything? Oh look, we can put it clear up here. Look at that. Boom. Orco. It's where the ore goes. It's a mining operation. You can really zoom in there. Look at that. Um, what else can we upgrade? We can get an ore shaft, which I'm assuming this is what this is. And we can get delivery trucks. Um, we only have 24,000 and that's 16,000 and 10,000. Which would, uh, which would put us over a little bit. So for now, I think we're gonna just chill, try to get a little bit more money, and see what what happens because of that. Um, these people are now happier because they have a uh, a trade depot. So the trade depots are gonna um, allow for more trade. Um, I'm not sure if this affects like our people or if it's just kind of like generically like other people, you know, that kind of upgrades. But I think what we need to do here is we need to edit our trade depot. Uh, we first need to put a trade depot sign, of course. I don't know why it doesn't work the first time. And I guess we're gonna put it right here, just so everybody knows that it's the import-export company with a trade, with a big T. Oh, they should've put the T over there, that would've been cool. Um, but we need to get ore. We need raw ore. And look, we have plenty of space to put extra slots, and we'll put that right there. And that will allow us to bring ore from our our mine into here. And then actually what we need to do again is we need to uh, manage our global market deliveries. And right now we are using our raw ores locally, but there's no reason to do that. There's, um, there's really nothing we can do with it right now. So we're going to have to export it just so we can make some money off of it. So we get $7,190 per 10 tons. And uh, each lot has 10 tons, apparently. Yeah. So. Oh, we've got zero tons. Okay, well, that's good. But, so hopefully we'll start making money off of that. Oh, no, each lot has 20 tons. So every 10 ton load is like $7,190 or something like that. So hopefully we'll start seeing some money come from there. And what happened? Okay. Uh, game froze. I'm back. <laughs> so anyways, like I was saying, um... The, uh, I actually forget where I was. It was so a while ago. So the ore will come from here, and for every 10 tons, we'll make that money. So hopefully we'll start seeing more money. We're already making $2,000 per hour. People are very happy. Um, our industrial happiness is actually going down for some reason, and it's our low-tech industries, and oh my god, they're very unhappy. But they've got nothing but the good things to say, so I'm a little confused, but that's fine. Business is good, the facility buildings are great, and I guess we're just going to have to wait until they get happy or something. I have no idea. So, I think what we need to do is, uh, um, oh, we have a school issue. I don't like school issues. What's, what's wrong? Educate me. Guide me. Do we not have a... That's odd. It's gone. Whatever. Sewage. We got backed up pipes. We got a whole load of crap coming to this one little tiny, uh... Uh, pooper shooter. Oh, yeah, see, it's backed up. We might need to have to put a new one. 
We're not approved. That's too loud for me to listen to. We're not approved for a sewage treatment plant. So we have to put another uh, outflow pipe, which is fine because for now... Oh god, these guys are going to be upset. Yeah, look at that. I think that'll be okay. They're a little unhappy, but they are educated. Look at that. That's why they're unhappy. But this should be fine. Eventually we'll get um, the, the treatment plant and it'll treat the sewage and then it'll turn it into beautiful drinking water and it'll be amazing. So, oh God, that was quite the noise. But anyways, so now that we have uh, 50,000, geez, it's going up quick. We can finally, um, let's do this. Cause right when you click into this, it like goes into slow-mo. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another ore shaft. Um, so this is 310 tons, but I think if we put one here, we can also put one like over here later. Because they all connect up to like this main ore shaft. So I think we're going to put one here. And also we're going to put another little tiny um, truck thing. But so now we have $28,000 in the bank. We should be making quite a bit more money over here. But we might need to, um, if we edit this, uh, we need to go to a freight truck garage. And this will add um, more trucks. And each of these trucks uh, delivers 5 tons of goods per trip. So it's time to get uh, a convoy moving. Um, adding a freight garage uh, to increase the rate in which you can send source resources from a trade depot, manufacturers, and consumers in your city. So we'll do one more of these. Actually, we'll stick it back here so it's not in the way. And hopefully that'll do pretty well. Oh gosh, now we have a water issue. Buildings need water. We have a deficit of seven, negative 7.2 kilogallons an hour. And apparently we can build a mansion. Or a, uh, a house, which is not overly important, so I'm not going to really worry about it. I think the next thing we need to do is the Department of Utilities, because uh, our city is slowly draining us from these really crappy, like, utilities. We need to upgrade these utilities, because they're not doing that well. But for now, we'll just stick another one down here, next to the ocean, and hopefully... Yeah, we only got, we only got two two kilogallons or so of excess which is not that great but for now I guess it's gonna have to do um, with thirty nine thousand dollars in the bank though I think we can go back to over to the city hall and um, find that department of uh, utilities because that's really gonna help us out so we're gonna add that on <laughs> we can't put it on the street so we're just gonna have to put it right here we can stick it out I kinda like that but we could do it like this as well Let's make it, let's make it look really big. We'll do that. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. So that should allow us to, um, oh, look, we have all these issues. Oh my gosh, what happened since the last time I played this? <laughs> it's got so many bad things have happened. Okay. It's running on battery power, but it's still generating its, uh, 12.1 megawatts per hour, which is, I believe, what it did last time. That's why it's not doing good. It doesn't have a sign. Oh gosh. We've ruined the entire company, guys, by not putting a sign out front. There we go. Is that going to increase? It's not going to increase. <laughs> well, we need to edit this. And we need to do another fixed solar array. This bulky but cheap uh, solar panel. Um, our bread and butter of the solar panel. That made no sense. Bulky but cheap. These panels are the bread and butter of solar power. There we go. That makes more sense. Uh, but each of these will do 12.1 megawatts uh, during peak hours. And then peak hours is like in the middle of the day. And then hopefully, like right now, at night, it'll just run off of battery power. So we're going to plug one of these down for $16,000. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. Oh my gosh, these are $40,000. But it generates 37.5 megawatts per hour. Uh, these futuri futuristic ditches, dishes are small, efficient, and expensive. They peak much more power. Yeah, they, they pack much more power than the basic panel and take up much less space. So essentially... All in all, in the long run, we could just have these, this solar panel instead of, uh, say, going nuclear or something like that. Which might be fun, because that does 200 megawatts per hour, which is pretty nice. Um, what? What is going on? Uh, an earthquake? Oh, God, the disasters. Oh, it's over here. Is it going to do anything? Oh. Anything? There's a big quake. Yes, there is. But I don't think it did anything. Oh, we are so lucky. Oh, we are very, very lucky. 
The city does need power, though. If we look at this, we can find out... Oh, God, is this the trash guy again? I don't want anything to do with you. But, yeah, since this is since we're in nighttime right now, it's, it's not going to generate more power. See, it's still doing 12.1. We need to wait until the daytime comes around to do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you... Are you oh, you're flying normally. So we've got building fires. God, look how close this helicopter is. Why are you so close to the ground? You're going to start cutting people's heads off. Oh, he's back. Why aren't you blowing out the fires like you did last time? Look at these guys. They're not doing a good job. Everything's burning down. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to have to... Twisty Mustache is going to have to come in here and uh, bulldoze these abandoned buildings. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully something renew or something new will build and be better and uh, we won't have to ever see you again, Twisty Mustache. Okay, education. What do you got? There's a power shortage. Don't remind me. And apparently, we can build a mayor's mansion. Uh, for the neighborly land cup of sugar. Or wait. For the neighborly, lend a cup of sugar, mother front lawn kind of mayor. Nice. It raises medium land wealth value, and I believe it should make everyone really happy in the city. Everyone's like, oh, there's a mayor's house. Oh, God, we could put it right here. There you go, mayor. Don't you want to live right next to... Uh, Right next to work? That's fine. That's where I'd like to live. Look, everyone's super happy now. Look at that. And look, this whole area is upgraded. Is that giant fire? No, it's not giant fire. Business is great. But look how happy these people are. Except this guy right here. Upset they had no power. Are they generating more power? They are. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, the city's actually rounding up pretty good. But they've, uh... Oh, look, we've got an upgrade. Oh, wait, that wasn't an upgrade. What are you doing? Is this Maxis man? I said no thanks. I'm pretty sure I said no thanks. I have no idea. But we can do an upgrade. We have more than 15,000 people. We're going to do an upgrade. Boom. Look at that. Anything special? Hello? Anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. But we can put another, uh, another utility now. If I can figure out where that's at. I forget. Can I click on you? Oh, I can, I can uh, edit. But now, next upgrade is 30,000 residents to get to uh, level 4. And that should be pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's shaping up real nice. Oh. Okay, so what's next? We had a water, power, a water issue there for a little bit. See, we still have another water issue. We're going to have to put another water thing down. This whole area is just going to be drained very quickly. Holy crap, did you see that plane? That was crazy. Um, sewage. Sewage is a little bit of an issue, but we can. Look. Look at this. We can do a sewage treatment plant. Um, what kind of civilized city dumps uh, they're wasting into our field? Into a field? Why can't I read this? What does that say? What kind of civilized city dumps their waste in a field? Huh, I don't know if I understand that sentence. Clean that sewage before disposing it um, with the sewage treatment plant. If you don't want to sewage, uh, if you don't want a sewage spill, be mindful of its capacity. Okay. We're, do we're doing okay now. I don't understand what happened earlier, but we're doing okay now, and I guess for now we're just gonna wait, and we're not gonna worry about it, and I need to get out of the screen because it's disgusting. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, okay, sewage is now an issue. Okay, sewage is fine. Alright, so I think the next thing what I wanted to do um, in the city is while we're uh, letting it expand, I think well, what we're going to do first is we're going to we're gonna increase these roads and we're going to put some low, low density in here. And there's an unemployment crisis, so I think what we're going to have to do is... Um, we got businesses around here, but I think what we're going to do is put some more industry right here. That'll be nice. But... The next thing that I wanted to do with this city is get a little bit of uh, tourist tourist attractions in here. Where's the tourism? Where are we at? Oh wait, what's electronics? That's pretty cool. Hi, I have five medium tech industries. How do you get medium tech? Oh, that's right, I need to put a school down. So I don't think we can do this until we, well, we can, but we need to do, uh, to do schools first. 
and apparently we need a massive demand for low wealth. So I think what we're going to do is just going to put some low wealth uh, businesses right here in between these nice fine parks. Perfect. Look at this. That, that'll be perfect. A little bit of industrial demand, a little bit of medium wealth, and a little tiny bit of high wealth, which we haven't touched yet. All of our high wealth big bastards will be up here. Okay. So, I think in order to get a um, higher tech level, we need higher education level. And our higher education level is going to require a community college and or a high school. I think it's, I think it's going to be a community college. And in order to do that, we need to put... Good thing we just had an upgrade. We need to put a Department of Education down. And where are we going to put this bad boy? We're going to put it right over here in the park. I would kind of like it out of the way. I guess we could... Oh, look. We're going to put it right here. It's going to be the first thing you see. <laughs> it's going to be the first thing you see when you enter Scrubsville. It's beautiful. We care about our education very seriously here. Look at that. It's very pretty. What do you have to say? Education. Very direct. Look at all these people already complaining. What do you have to say? Okay, I guess you work there. That's cool. Can you do anything? No. It's just a city hall. 